up at CHI Health Center in Omaha. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Derek Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 6 p.m. with first serve at 7. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal and Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernova's radio network. Empower a child today with the Teammates Mentoring Program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting LincolnTeammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the Teammates Mentoring Program today. Old School with DP and Jay. Do you think it's too early to talk about Patrick Mahomes as the greatest of all time you know to be honest with you i think he might be on ahead of the pace it was definitely on on pace maybe ahead of the pace i think right now everything that he does is going to get over overblown and i think people so quickly forgot the 20 year run of the patriots not five six years 20 year run of tom brady and the patriots on uh, 93 7 the ticket and the ticket fm.com 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Big box stores are tempting for buying equipment for your high schooler in sports or for yourself in your sports leisures. But buying new is awfully expensive. Why not go somewhere with new and used options? Play It Again Sports has quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And it's more than baseball, softball, and golf. They also have equipment for disc golf, fitness, hockey, and more. Plus, they're always buying products. Bring your gear you're done with and get trade money on the spot. Play it against sports at 48th and Vine. This is On the Block with Stricken Austin. Nebraska Basketball Hall of Famer and nine-year NBA vet, Eric Strickland. Strickland for three! And you're going to go out of here at the big eight. School basketball coaching legend and Duke basketball shooting coach in his mind, Austin Orman. Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America, on air and online at theticketfm.com. Presented by Nipco. This is On the Block with Stricken Austin. Welcome in. This is On the Block on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. I am Austin Norman, joined by the Husker Hall of Famer, the nine-year NBA vet, general man, myth, and legend Eric Strickland. He's on his way in right now. Gives me time to tell you that On the Block is brought to you by Nebco. If you're looking for a new career, you can start yours today by visiting nebcoinc.com. That's N-E-B-C-O-I-N-C dot com. Setting the stage for tomorrow's show. What's something wacky going on in the world that you think we can talk about? Suitable for radio, suitable for air, obviously. But we want the the fun stories, the zany stories, the wacky stories, not for today, but for tomorrow. We'll have three on three is what we'll call it. Wednesdays moving forward. So if there's anything in the news that we haven't covered that you want talked about, send them in on the text line. Uh, Drop a link, 402-464-5685. Stricky, let's dive right into it. Big Ten Men's Basketball Postseason Awards were announced today. Um, the the big award, of course, Big Ten Men's Player of the Year goes to Zach Eady. Of course. Kind of saw that one coming. Yeah. Who, who, Makes sense. Oh, yeah. Who would have seen that coming? How about this? Let's give some Omaha Supernovas tickets away. Nice and early in this show. Okay, so Zach Eady became the fourth player to win uh, back-to-back Big Ten Men's Basketball Player of the Year awards. Three people. I think I, th- I think I know one. I think you do. I think one of them's from Indiana. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. We'll see. If you can name one of the three other players to go back-to-back Big Ten Men's Basketball Player of the Year, you can have four tickets 
to either Thursdays or Saturdays, Omaha Supernova's game. Drop the name of the player, drop your email address, and uh, drop the day of the game that you want to go to, either Thursday or Saturday, on the text line, 402-464-5685. Outside of Zach Eady, there are three men to have been named Big Ten Men's Basketball Player of the Year in back-to-back years. Who are the other three? Uh, first people in with the three unique answers uh, will get those four Omaha Supernovas tickets. Defensive Player of the Year in the Big Ten this year, Ace Baldwin Jr. from Penn State. Second conference, he's won Defensive Player of the Year and joining uh, the A-10. Co-Freshman of the Year, Mackenzie Mbako from Indiana, Owen Freeman from Iowa. Uh, sixth Man of the Year strike is interesting to me. Mason Gillis of Purdue, to me, he's their version of C.J. Wilter. Maybe a little more athletic, but same sort of, you know, 3 and D type of wing, bigger bodied guy. And I think that he deserves that award more than his coach deserves. Who, coach who are we talking year. about? Mason Gillis okay. of Purdue. Number yeah. zero. Um, yeah. Solid player, fine player off yeah, the bench for he, them. He kind of reminds me of like um, uh, Grant Williams or, okay, you know, or. Um, not quite as thick, but yeah. yeah you know what yeah. I'm saying? But that kind of player, that style. Yeah. Um, I'm not even gonna give say like um, what's what's my crazy boy that used to be at uh, Memphis? Oh, he, um, he just got traded. He's in Houston now. Uh, Brooks. Brooks. Dylan yeah. Brooks. I'm not gonna no. say he's him. No, but he he gives me the Grant Williams vibe. Maybe um, maybe a PJ Tucker type. Mm, like he's just really is. solid. He's. I mean, mm-hmm. he doesn't necessarily you know ultimately stand out. He's not flashy he just he just gets the job i would say even more like draymond to me without <laughs> without being the ability to to do all the stuff from the ranges yeah but just that that style he's this versatility glue guy yeah. ties a lot together for yeah. him yeah. yeah okay uh um, mississippi mud duck you are on the correct track but we need the name of the player you can't just call him that name again looking for the three other Players who have been named back to back Big Ten Men's Player <laughs> of the Year for four Supernovas tickets. You know, we like, can't you say know that. We're on that. We can't say that. You know, we can't say that. Um, uh, huh? Underneath well, six minutes. Yeah, what you real got? Real quick before you, you move, since you're on the Zach Eady train. Zach, what, what's your thoughts about the retirement of his, his stuff before he even leaves? Man. Ah. It was but probably going to happen. Know what they think, what the fans are, yeah. the listeners are thinking. That's, that's, I mean, you know it's going to happen, but. Yeah, I, I kind of like that it was a surprise. You mm. know, it, it seems weird to do while he's still an active player. I don't think he's been that good or that dominant to like not not leaving that big of a legacy at Purdue because of the postseason failure so far. Yeah. But at the same time, that's a really neat moment. I And too often we miss the boat on these things because it takes too long to get done. Mm. I don't mind this one coming maybe a little bit too early. For Zach Eady, because of the run that Purdue's been on, they've had, you know, some pretty high level success. No, they haven't had the postseason success, but to spring it on him, you know, his family was going to be there for his senior day anyways. Mm -hmm. So you knew you had a lot of people there in the building. We didn't have to hear about it for weeks leading up to it. So I think it's a, a nice gesture. Maybe not the way I would have done it, but I can understand where Purdue's coming from with it. Is the question is then Austin, and listeners, and you can also chime in also on the on the Sutter Hammond text line, 402-464-5685, as well as on the stream. Any of the streaming platforms, you can always join the conversation. But here's the thing. To me, and I want to know for you, mm-hmm. is Purdue similar or they have the same look as the Cowboys? Do very well in the in the, in the season, get into the postseason, and they're just like, wah, wah, wah. you know what I'm saying? I see where you're coming from with that. Yeah, I, I, you know, yeah. I, I'm not saying they're you know, obviously they're different sports, and it, it, it you know, it's not that. But to me, that's what Purdue has been. What I've seen the last two years, it's been very, very great, very good. And, and and I'm talking about success in beating mm-hmm. good. There were seven zero against top twenty five. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So you're talking about domination throughout the season, and then we'll get into the get into the uh, into the tournament. And I mean, they won't even make a a, 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 a you know a, a 
Final Eight run. No. Mm-mm. They barely get to the 16. What if I threw a basketball comparison out there and said the Los Angeles Clippers? They'll have regular season success, but they're mm. always going to be second in their own state. They're behind Indiana basketball in the mind and the conscience of that state where they've had good players. They've, they've been you know somewhat better consistently, but they don't have that postseason run to show yeah, for it. What yeah. about that? Okay. 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 I can see you come up short. Just yeah. when it, when it means something, when it matters, when it means the most, but yeah. can I, can I throw something out since you threw out Indiana basketball? Please. Check this out. Austin. I watched with? the game last night. Um, I, I can't, who are they playing? Oh, Golden State was playing last night. I yeah, they played Wemby. They played, played the San Antonio. Mm-hmm. Boy, did Trace Jackson Davis look good. Woo! Like, I didn't know how he would translate, <laughs> but mm-hmm. boy, did he look good. Mm-hmm. Like, that That was, if you're, if you're Golden State at this point, that's a gem of a find if he continues mm-hmm. to progress at that level. Mm-hmm. And, and, mm-hmm. and they were able to play him and Draymond together, Yeah, which was, like, crazy. When you really think about it, then mm-hmm. and, and they were able to switch and switch off on the guards and have great footwork. So, I mean, there can be some danger there, Will Robinson. Mm-hmm. If, if <laughs> you know, once it, you know they start to really figure that thing out, they're mm-hmm. still working. And 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 Podzinski, yeah, watch out, that young fella can go too. Started at Illinois, transferred transferred out to Santa Clara in California. Yeah, but he's done a good job of being a plug and play guy. They thought they were going to get that from like a Moses Moody. Yeah, but, yeah, but Zemsky's yeah. been better with the ball in his hands, better at moving it. He's been a nice addition for them. But Stricky, I feel so vindicated. On draft night when the Warriors took Trace Jackson Davis in the second round, I said, boom, love that fit. He can back up Kevon Looney. He can back up Draymond Green. Two fantastic guys to learn behind. And he hasn't he had can to run. Stretch. He hasn't had to stretch He has the floor. not yet, but he will. He but can. Not yet. Yeah, he he'll, he'll learn. He'll learn. Right? That's a good system yeah. to learn in. I love that fit on draft night. I am so happy for him. He ended up in that situation. And sometimes it's just a matter of where you go, Austin. Real talk. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you can go to a place similar to, to being a quarterback in the NFL. Mm-hmm. Like, there's certain places that you can go and just get drowned out. And it's, it's not even that you can't play. It's just mm-hmm. that, you know, you don't get the you don't get the tutelage. You don't get the the growth and maybe not the, the pieces staff around. Is not, yeah. 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 Like, I, like, like now, now we're going to get into it. You know, we'll talk about the Panthers because we'll talk mm-hmm. about Bryce probably a little bit because uh, we're talking about quarterbacks. Yeah. But there, you, you can tell there's a plan at there least. Mm-hmm. So we'll get into that. Let's finish up this seg- segment here. Just a couple minutes on Fred Hoiberg, co-coach. Shout out. Of the year with Matt Painter. Uh, yeah, out. Matt Painter didn't screw up Purdue. Congratulations. But Nebraska was picked 12th. Nobody believed they get a double bye. Normally strict, that's a slam dunk, you know, undisputed coach mm-hmm. of the year award for Fred Hoiberg. You know, he still gets, you know, co-coach of the year. It's still a great honor. But even trying to to take the Nebraska glasses off, I don't see how you can make an argument for Matt Painter right. alongside Fred Hoiberg this year. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I, I agree with you. And 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 again, it's to the point now for Purdue, if they don't go further, is he really? Right. Like, I mean. If 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 this year with what you have, what you've done, with what you've returned, now those some of those now you can you can attribute some of the problems and the issues to youth, especially at important positions like at the mm-hmm. point guard position and at the guard position, mm-hmm. you can attribute some of that to it. But then it, it's an it's a now thing for me that if if you can are you really? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even going to say, because I think in some of the losses, it's not really even the players. I think it's the scheme. I think they got schemed. I got, I I think they got out coached. Fair. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the way I would have looked at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think Nebraska out coached him to some degree. Yes. It helps that they, they made 14 threes that night, but Nebraska's had the game plan against Purdue for a couple of years now. Um, 4951 says the mayor wins the tiebreaker because of head to head result. Sure. Why not? I mean, if you're looking for for some yeah, sort of different, years? yeah, yeah, some sort of differentiator, I think that that wouldn't have to factor in. We do have one winner on the text line, fifty two ninety six. Luca Garza did go back to back Men's Player of the Year um, a few years ago. Thank you for sending in your email. Still, two players out there on the table for you to guess if you want tickets to the Omaha Supernovas either Thursday or Saturday. Luca Garza, Zach Eady. And both of these players came before those two. 
If you can name the first two players to be back-to-back Big Ten Men's Basketball Player of the Year, you can have four tickets to the Omaha Supernovas. We'll take a break. When Real we quick. Can, we got to go. Two things EIS, up. we got to go. We'll be back oh, that's right, right after EIS. this. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. Constructors is now hiring for all positions, with laborers starting at $23 and up based on experience. Constructors has immediate job openings for laborers, mechanics, bridge builders, operators, and drivers. Start your new career today. Constructors offers great pay, health, dental, and vision insurance, paid time off, paid holidays, and so much more. Join the crew today and be a part of Nebraska's oldest paving company dating back to 1908. For a complete list of openings and to apply online, visit ConstructorsLincoln.com. After the snow-packed winter we've had so far, people need some green, which is good because Cash Blast from the Nebraska Lottery is back. Until April 2nd, buy a 2 by 2 ticket, enter the voucher number, and you could win $5,000 or $500. If your winning voucher is from a 7-day draw ticket, your prize is double. There will be 7 weekly drawings and 14 total winners in Cash Blast. So slide into your nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer and play to win some green today. 2 by 2 top prize odds, 1 in 105000 Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can with 12 bowling lanes in the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dudley. Hi folks, Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC and the Chevrolet and GMC Truck Month is now underway. We've got huge savings in Louisville. Get 9000 off or 1.9% for 72 months on select models. Yes, you heard right. That's 9000 off or 1.9% for 72 months happening right now at Copple. So take that short money saving drive down 144th Street or check us out online at copplecars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with roof credit stock number G214773. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fuhrer's Cheese Spread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fuhrer's Cheese Spread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job, it's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour, with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits, plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates, with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. Big box stores are tempting for buying equipment for your high schooler in sports or for yourself in your sports leisures. But buying new is awfully expensive. Why not go somewhere with new and used options? Play It Against Sports is quality, slightly to gently used equipment. And 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And it's more than baseball, softball, and golf. They also have equipment for disc golf, fitness, hockey, and more. Plus, they're always buying products. Bring your gear you're done with and get trade money on the spot. Play it against sports at 48th and Vine. This is Brad with Midwest Bank, proudly serving our Nebraska communities for over 70 years. We're a community bank, making local decisions, supporting local organizations, and helping local businesses and farms succeed. We are dedicated to serving our clients and helping them meet their financial needs with sound, innovative banking solutions. From an array of checking and deposit accounts, cash management services, to small business, real estate, and ag lending. We're here for you. 
your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Find out more at MidwestBank.com. Member FDIC. Life is all about balance. So how about a little sweet and a little heat to make your week? At Wings and Rings, we're introducing our all-new hot honey menu for the month of March. Try our one-of-a-kind house-made sauce on the brand-new hot honey chicken sandwich or our hot honey shrimp and slaw. And of course, you can get it on the traditional boneless or smoked wings that have made Wings and Rings your go-to neighborhood spot. But don't wait. Hot Honey is only here until April 1st. So stop by Wings and Rings at one of our two Lincoln locations today on O Street and on Village Lane. On the Block with Strick and Austin. Now to tie it back to Nebraska men's basketball, this group has a chance to do something that hasn't been done before. Yeah. You know, in making a run in the Big Ten tournament, a serious run, in winning the first NCAA tournament game, but they're not going to get there by doing the same things they've always done. It is on this team to step up and change that narrative. It won't change on its well, own. Teams won't lay over for you, and that's the mindset well, shift we haven't consistently seen yet. Weekdays from 2 to 4 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Happy hour. Husker softball in all preseason polls. In the four polls, 13th, 15th, 17th, and 18th. USA Softball is part of that. Softball America is one of them as well. D1 Softball. Top 20 as a team. And they have at least two players in every top 50, top 100 pull. With Jordy Ball being anywhere from second. Honestly, I think third was her lowest ranking in some of those. And Billy Andrews. Usually it's those two. There was one that had Kate Kaneda. Weekdays from 1 to 2 on 93.7 The Ticket and the theticketfm.com. Now back to On the Block with Strick and Austin on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Rolling right along into segment two of our one of On the Block brought to you by Nebco. Check out uh, any open jobs at nebcoinc.com. Talking Big Ten men's hoops postseason awards. I'm Austin Norman. He's Eric Strickland. And what you got there, Stricky? <laughs> what you got? The meal coffee. What's in the cup? Straight white mocha. Woo! And and look, so, so you like white mocha? You don't like white wine? I know. Is it I'm interesting, kind of weird, bro? Yeah. But here's a crazy, crazy thing too. No, no, no. It's not crazy, but I think a beautiful thing. DP's outside, mm-hmm. sitting there. You, you like if you just want to have some good work, a work environment where it's a chill place, you can hang out with us, and you can sit outside and get your work mm. done on a beautiful day like today. Come on down to the mill, nine three seven a ticket. Wave at us or something as you drive by. Beep. Let us know. We love to see you guys, and that's about it. One zero four zero O Street. Come find us. Mm. As as uh, as Dion would say, we ain't hard. To we find. ain't hard to find. We ain't hard to find. Also, not hard to find the Big Ten Men's Basketball Postseason Awards. Um, texted a couple people back. We have one winner uh, with Luca Garza. We have the other two answers in. We'll wait until we get the the emails to give those away. Um, first team this year, Stricky. Represented by three teams is all. It's Marcus Domask uh, and Terrence Shannon Jr. of Illinois, Zach Eady and Braden Smith of Purdue, then Boo Booey of Northwestern on the first team, Booey and Eady, uh, the two unanimous picks. Looking at the second team, guard heavy, Tony Perkins, mm-hmm. career year at Iowa, Jameer Young, solid steady she goes at Maryland, me. Tyson Walker at Michigan State, who we've just kind of forgotten about as yeah. they drop into the gate nine matchup, AJ Storr of Wisconsin, who transferred in, and Kase. Tomanaga. Strick, I wasn't sure Nebraska would get a I player agree. on any of these teams. So for Kese to, to quietly, for him, lead Nebraska in scoring and still get second team honors, I think that's a big deal and a nice recognition. I would have to agree it's a big deal and it's a nice recognition from the standpoint that, as you said, it was crept up. Mm-hmm. It, it was signs of it, but then this is this is the uniqueness about this team. There would be times where Kese would score two points. I think 10 times this year he scored under 10. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the rest of them, I think, I think I want to say 17 times has been over 17. Mm-hmm. So it's been this, you know, roller coaster ride of of some would say inconsistency, but I just think it's the uniqueness of the team. Sure, I think there's times where, in the same manner, you would have who we can we can talk about on the third team, Rick mm-hmm. Mast. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the value of Rick Mast goes beyond scoring, though. I think mm-hmm. it, I think it gets in the realm of assists. I think it gets in the realm. Just his, his overall, the the whole body of work that he mm-hmm. brings to the table is what got him there. Absolutely. That third team that you mentioned, uh, Kellel Ware, or Khalil Ware, Peyton Sanford, Dawson Garcia, Brooks Barnheiser from Northwestern, your defensive player of the year of the Big Ten, Ace Baldwin, junior third team, along with Rink Mast. 
If anything, Strick, I would have guessed Bryce Williams would have made one of these teams um, just because of how much he does, because he played a big part in handling the ball for Nebraska because he had some big scoring games. But Bryce didn't have a game as big as Kase did, Mm -hmm. didn't have one like Rink did against Ohio State. And with his role, right, he's kind of faded to the background because he's handled the ball trying to take on some of those point guard responsibilities. So I'm not shocked Bryce Williams didn't get it, but before the year, he would have been my pick to, to make one of these teams, but he doesn't even make honorable mention. Yeah, I see is that, is that a, a disappointment for him? Is that just a, a feature of Nebraska's team again, a function of the Big Ten? Why no Bryce Williams? Um, He's kind of like a... Okay, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a good analogy to put out there, and I think I found one. Mm. So you have situations where there are guys, individuals, people that are pretty brazen or loud or obnoxious or, um, you know, talkative. Mm -hmm. So you go into a classroom and you'll find some of those, a class clown, you'll find different types of personalities that kind of bring noise to the room. Mm -hmm. And then you'll find those real quiet guys. They're just kind of sitting in the cut in the corner. They're, they're, they're very smart. They're intellectual. They're just taking everything in. They're not really making any noise. And, and at times, a teacher may even forget that they're there. <laughs> that's kind of similar to where Bryce, mm. Bryce is. There's not anything really that he does that's loud, it's boisterous. He doesn't even react sometimes, you know, to like, no, no, this is a non emotion sometimes, it was just the way he is, mm-hmm. that can lead someone to just kind of miss him mm-hmm. or not even think about him. And even though he may have solid games, he'll be in there, right? Sometimes second in scoring on the team. And, Sometimes second in rebounds or something, you know, he mm-hmm. just kind of fits second in. Second in assists, second in steals, yeah. block a shot here or yeah. there. Yeah, mm-hmm. just fit in. And 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 as a coach, you don't really know, but then he'll hit a big shot. Mm-hmm. Um, he'll get a big rebound. He'll do those type of things, but he doesn't have that flair. And, 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 and so for me, there was a guy out there that you guys would all remember is Dennis Rodman. Mm. Dennis Rodman's Bryce. Until hey. he became Worm. Worm. Okay. <laughs> like he, he, you know, he was kind of just no nonsense. And then he got loud and boisterous by just antics. And Dyed hair the hair, went to North Korea. And yeah. Made his money. Yeah. Right. Then you started recognizing, oh, snap, two and 20. And then you started paying attention, right? Bryce is going to have to change that dynamic about himself in, 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 if he wants to kind of raise himself up. Mm. You, 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 either it's defensively or it's something where you're how. Hound- that's how I did it. Right. You know, I said, okay, I'm, I'm, I think I'm an average guy as far as I can score. I can do all of those things, but I'm mm-hmm. not flashy. I'm not Kyrie Irving. I don't got a super pat. I just get to a spot, do my thing and give, get a bucket, mm-hmm. but I'm going to hound you on D and I'm going to tell you about it. And I'm going to dive on the floor. I'm going to jump over, over the, uh, uh, the announcer's table, table. Yeah. I'm going to be all in the stands. I'm going to slap hands with the people and I'm going to tell you about it. That's kind of how you, you kind of, put your your name in the eye of the people because chucky's very quiet too on the all defensive team though but that's what i'm talking about mm-hmm. he makes noise by the way he gets after you on the defensive mm-hmm. team so bryce needs to f- find a way to do that looking at that all defensive team it's chucky hepburn ace baldwin jr defensive player of the year is going to be on that team brooks barnheiser from northwestern finds his way onto that team and then it's three big men khalil ware zach Eady, and then cliff amori Jawan gary Nebraska Twitter's, you know, upset that he didn't make the team. Did Jawan do enough as a defender this year to be included on the all defense team in your eyes? I would say his absence for the period, some period of absence there. Mm -hmm. Um, um, I think maybe not this year, but what I like about Bryce not being on, what I like about Jawan, I think it inspires them. I think it, I think it motivates them Mm -hmm. to come back with more, to do more. Um, not necessarily come back with an attitude of I've got to be that scorer or that no, there's gonna be there's gonna be space in that. With the absence of K Sage, there's gonna be room for the emergence of that, right? Mm-hmm. So just 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 come back with uh motivation mm. to 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 be better, to do better, and to uh if you continue to propel your team, all the accolades will begin to show. Right now, Nebraska is like a stepchild. Uh, no one, no one really believes. No one really thought they've surprised everybody. So now people are kind of, 
wait a second, what's going, what's going on over there? You know how, you know how the no, the noise is happening in a specific area. You kind of, <laughs> what's going on over there? That's kind of where Nebraska is right now. Because guess what? If it was a name brand, if mm -hmm. it was in Indiana, if it was uh, in Iowa, even Michigan uh, State, you know that was teetering and and did what Nebraska did, mm -hmm. they would be in the top twenty five. It oh, wouldn't yeah. be a one vote, a two vote, but just people aren't sold yet. But I think they will. Well, let me let me ask you this question then. You talk about Bryce Williams needing to to differentiate himself, find a way. I think that goes for the whole program. No question. It absolutely goes for the whole yeah. program. So how if you're Fred Hoiberg and that coaching staff, how are you telling this team to differentiate itself for the rest of this season and into the future? Well, it's I, I think the best analogy that I can give you is our NIT run. Mm. Um, people knew we were good. We, we, we by far was the, I, I want to say, a top three talented team in similar to what Michigan State is. They brought back everybody. That's the same thing we did. And we had the same type of fall mm -hmm. that Michigan State had this year. Mm -hmm. But it was basically saying how you erase, how can you take that 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 bad scar and just kind of you know you know make it cleaner or make it look better there's a scar there it still hurts mm -hmm. but how can you make it look cleaner you know you put vitamin c or some you know aloe vera you put something on it to kind of make it smoother and clean it out a little bit mm -hmm. how do you do that we said oh we got into the nit let's go do it and then so, so a lot of people don't really remember that 11 straight loss, 10 straight loss. Mm -hmm. They don't really remember that part of it. Yeah, they remember parts and, you know, different storylines within it, but they don't remember how, you know, bad it got. Was that the year you almost walked like, well, out? That was the year. Mm. So that's what Nebraska can do. Now, they're not bad. They're on the good side. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying, when you're on the good side, go and make noise in the Big Ten tournament. Like, you're only two games away. Mm -hmm. Give everything you've got in those two games. Raise your, your, raise your standard as far as you're your entering into the NCAA tournament. Hopefully get in the Midwest. Get the fans behind you. Mm -hmm. Go win a game. Like, like right. that's how you set everything up for next year. Mm -hmm. Even if you just play well in the game and come up short, mm -hmm. you can still set it up in the mindset of the men and the women and the conference to begin to look at you differently. Start building that name. Start yeah. building that reputation. Yeah. As you look on the court, what's going to be the most important aspect of Nebraska's game that's going to set it apart? That's now? going to give it, a, yes. Right okay. now, this year, in the Big Ten tournament, in the NCAA tournament, what is the aspect on the court that Nebraska needs to focus on that'll give it a chance to be in and potentially win any game it plays? <clears throat> the Princeton mentality. Setting guys up. Setting good string, be strict. Just, yeah, I don't care if you've got to be bland as a white piece of paper. <laughs> just be, you don't got to be sexy. Don't try to go in there and start be you white know, bread. getting like the Harlem Globetrotters and, you know, dribbling off your knees and doing all the crazy stuff. Don't know. No, don't try to be Jason Williams going down the middle, hitting it behind your back and, you, you know, elbow you, pass. Elbow yeah, pass. No. Nah. Just be Bobby Blue Bland. <laughs> y'all listeners y'all heard of him Bobby be Bobby Blue Bland and just basically do all the the basics rebound backdoor cuts setting guys up when teams make a run you look calm cool and collective you basically just handle yourself don't turn the ball over mm -hmm. don't don't give up any of the the high things um the high differential areas that could cause you to to come up with a loss just just Straight line, Bobby Blue Bland. When Nebraska's won big games, you think about Purdue, you think about Wisconsin. Have they been at their best in those fundamentals? I would say, I would say because one of the things that they did is they won 50 50 balls. Mm. They were very scrappy. They, they had an edge to them. I think you can have those things, but yet still be fundamentally sound. The Nebraska's played at its best when they're setting screens when they're assisting when they're when they're high, their their assist numbers are in the 18 mm -hmm. range and up that means guys are getting good shots that means right. they're thinking about the next next pack you 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 remember austin how bad it looked for some nebraska teams in the past 
when, yes, they were trying to make the extra pass, but it didn't make sense? It seems like this team makes extra plays when it makes sense. It's not, Mm -hmm. it's like, why'd you pass there? Like, the guy didn't even come to them, and they're, the guy's like half coming to them and really going to the corner, and you make the pass to the corner, and you're like literally butt naked. Take the lane. Take the two. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. It's stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Couple final answers for you on the trivia. We have uh, Rob in with, Mateen Cleaves was uh, the second player to go back to back um, Big Ten Men's Player of the Year. And then we have, where is it at here? Uh, Jordan P. Jim Jackson. There's the other one. Those are the Jim the four Jackson players. was at Ohio State. Jim Jackson of Ohio State. Mm-hmm. You know who I thought did get it, but he probably didn't. Who? I thought Calvert Cheney might have got it. Calvert did not. Dang it. I thought mm-hmm. it was Calvert. Yeah, Jimmy uh, J. We, I we played a, with Jimmy J. Yeah, we had a guest for try to get Glenn him. Robinson. It was not Glenn Robinson. It was not Glenn Robinson. It was not. Those are the only four. Jim Jackson, Mateen Cleaves, Luca Garza, and Zach Eady. Luca Garza at Iowa. Yeah. Two in a row. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, he fell off in the NBA. He's riding the bench for the Wolves right now. Yeah, he fell off. But um, what's the the other, other, similar to Garza, uh, where did he play? He's got a game that was similar. Stretch guy. He might be at Cleveland. What? what, Talking about Nikola Jokic? No, he's at Cleveland, I think. Gosh dang it. What's his name? Look it up help, in the break. Help Come me back. Up. Yeah, we're going to try to figure out who that, that player is. Because he, he can shoot it, and he's he's a big body guy, but he's he, he kind of played like Luca Garza. And Kevin Collins. Love? No, it's after him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's new. He's, he's playing now. Gotcha. Yeah, I can't. Help me. We'll look that up, but we're not done giving stuff away. More Supernovas tickets to come in Hour 2. But to round out Hour 1, Stricky's back on the hot seat. The shootout with Strick. We're doing it. Call now, 402-464-5685. Four questions for Stricky, four for you. If you win, you get 30 bucks to Buffalo Wings and Rings. We'll play the game. Nying. Oh, George's Nyang. Nyang. Yep. Yeah. Red's old player in I Iowa like State. Him. I like Nyang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's one that keeps, stock keeps going yeah. up for me. Yeah. For sure. Okay, go ahead. Shoot out with Strick. Next. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fuhrer's Cheese Bread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fuhrer's Cheese Bread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. My dream was to work in commercial banking but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I landed my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the Doan experience has been life-changing. The Omaha Supernovas are back in action this Thursday, March 14th, versus the Atlanta Vibe at CHI Health Center in Omaha. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Derek Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 6 p.m. with first serve at 7. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal and Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernovas radio network. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your link to forecast for today, we'll see probably sunny skies and more mild weather. It's an afternoon high around 69. Tonight, mostly clear skies with a low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see probably sunny skies to start. Then a chance of showers, even some thunderstorms possible in the afternoon. The high around 72. I'm meteorologist Kyle Button for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. This is Monster Jam. Big air, backflips, and all-out racing. Coming to Pinnacle Bank Arena March 29th and 30th. The fun begins at the pit party Saturday at 10.30 a.m. where you can meet the drivers, get autographs, take pictures, and see the trucks up close. 
Pit Pass must be accompanied by same-day 1 p.m. event ticket. Get your $20 Pit Party Pass at MonsterJam.com today. Restrictions may apply. Rules and activities are subject to change. Visit website for event details. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. Life is all about balance, so how about a little sweet and a little heat to make your week? At Wings and Rings, we're introducing our all-new hot honey menu for the month of March. Try our one-of-a-kind house-made sauce on the brand-new hot honey chicken sandwich or our hot honey shrimp and slaw. And of course, you can get it on the traditional boneless or smoked wings that have made Wings and Rings your go-to neighborhood spot. But don't wait. Hot Honey is only here until April 1st. So stop by Wings and Rings at one of our two Lincoln locations today on O Street and on Village Lane. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job. It's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. Prashawn Jackson here for Bauer Underground, who has been serving local contractors and utility contractors all across the state since 1997. When you see the black and white trucks, you know the baddest dudes in the business have arrived. Bauer is currently looking for equipment operators, laborers, diesel mechanics, and aerial linemen. Join the brotherhood built on hard work, authentic people, and pedigree of success. Bauer, a family-friendly company who reminds you, go be! Hi everyone, Kendall Warnock, A1 Automotive in downtown Lincoln. The last few years have been wild, but we've been here for you through all the ups and downs and we'll be here for you when you need us the most. For all your travels and for your day-to-day -day driving. With winter conditions causing problems all over town, the last thing anyone needs this year is constant car troubles. Let us help you drive in peace and make sure you drive to work and to winter destinations safe. A1 Automotive, Leviton and L Street downtown, always Honest answers. Old school with DP and J. Do you think it's too early to talk about Patrick Mahomes as the greatest of all time? You know, to be honest with you, I think he might be on ahead of the pace. It was definitely on on pace, maybe ahead of the pace. I think right now everything that he does is going to get over overblown, and I think people <laughs> so quickly forgot the twenty year run of the Patriots, not five six years, twenty year run of Tom Brady and the Patriots. On uh, 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. It's time to play shootout with Strick. Call now 464-5685 to take your shot against Eric Strickland. Shootout with Strick. Brought to you by Buffalo Wings and Rings. Time to play the game. You know it is. And that man back in the hot seat. Eric Strickland, the shootout with Strick. We have a contestant on the line. We go to our Honda of Lincoln hotline. Welcome in Bellevue, Jim. Jim, I feel like it's been a while. How are you, sir? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing, Austin? Glad to hear. I'm doing well. Stricky's here. He's ready to go. We know you're a longtime faithful listener. We appreciate you. So, uh, Jim, hold on the line. We'll get to your questions here in just a minute. Sounds good. Hey, Stricky. What up, Bellevue, Jim? All right, let's fight it out. Let's go. Okay, Stricky, you're around here. It's basketball related. College basketball related. Should be your wheelhouse. Your questions start in three, two, and one. They won the Sun Belt Conference Tournament. James Madison or Appalachian State? James. Yep, they won the Ohio Valley Tournament. Murray State or Moorhead State? Moorhead. It was Moorhead. They won the Southern Conference Tournament. Furman or, or uh, Samford? Sanford. It is. And they play South Dakota State in the Summit League Championship tonight. Omaha. 
It is not Sir! Omaha. Sticky. Sucker, no! This team beat Omaha last night. Denver. Ah! There's a 6-7 matchup in the Summit League semis to face the Jackrabbits. Coach Crutch and the Mavs fell just God. short to Denver. Man. You thought I was trying to give you a layup here wearing my Mavs gear. You thought. I thought I had it. That's Shit. okay. All right, Jim, three to tie, four more to win. You ready for your round? I hope so. All Chris right. Put up a tough fight there. He, he's known for that occasionally. Jim, your round starts here in three, two, and one. They won the Missouri Valley Tournament. Drake or Indiana State? Drake. Yep, they won the Big South Tournament. Longwood or High Point? Longwood. Yep, they won the Atlantic Sun Tournament. Lipscomb or Stetson? Stetson. It is Stetson. And they play St. Mary's in the West Coast Championship tonight. They play St. Mary's in the West Coast Championship tonight. Uh, Utah State. Utah State, the guess. Wrong conference. We go to the tiebreaker because the answer is the Zags. Gonzaga St. Mary's in the West Coast Conference Championship tonight. All right. Here's the tiebreaker. Those first six teams that you guys mentioned. So between James Madison, Moorhead State, Samford, Drake, Longwood, and Stetson. Keep those teams in mind. How many combined men's NCAA tournament appearances have those six teams made in their history? Say it again. How many times have... James Madison, Moorhead State, Samford, Drake, Longwood, and Stetson combined to appear in the NCAA men's tournament. In history. In history. How many times between those six teams have they appeared in the NCAA men's basketball tournament? 75. Stricky says 75. Bellevue Gym, over or under? Under. Boom shakalaka. Finish here. That was a yeah, hell yeah. History? In history. That's a tough I one. I said, give me a hell, yeah. That's a tough one. I, I had no clue. Try 28. Oh, yeah. 28 I had no times. clue, like, what to, like, even how that would work. I'm, I'm thinking about history going back to what? NCAA goes back to what, the 50s? A long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, it's got to be, if you're talking about over almost 100 years. Here's the breakdown. Five years. Here's the breakdown. Morehead, St- or yeah, Morehead State nine times. Longwood second time. Drake seventh time. Stetson first appearance in mm. school history. James Madison sixth appearance. Uh, Samford third appearance, and that adds up to twenty eight. Jim, congratulations on the win. Hold on the line. We'll get you your thirty bucks to Buffalo Wings and Rings. Thanks, Drakey. Good game. I'm just guessing pretty well today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good game, good game. Way to go. Good try, Stricky. 0-1 back in the box. I-, I gave Nick some College World Series history trivia for one of them, and I thought he was going to roll through it. I think he won it like one to nothing. I tried to give him his wheelhouse, and he let me down. Really? Yeah. He still won, though. So <laughs> One to nothing? I think that's what it was. Man. I'll go back and check the tape. But Bellevue Jim, congratulations on your win. 30 bucks to Buffalo Wings and Rings is yours. We'll throw it to break. More Omaha Supernovas tickets available for you. Be ready for some trivia on that front. We'll dive into NFL free agency. Give us your NFL team. Give us your favorite or at least favorite move that they've made so far. We'll get to that and plenty more in hour two of On the Block here on 93.7 The Ticket. Houses, they're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home. And they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. This is Brad with Midwest Bank, proudly serving our Nebraska communities for over 70 years. We're a community bank, making local decisions, supporting local organizations, and helping local businesses and farms succeed. We are dedicated to serving our clients and helping them meet their financial needs with sound, innovative banking solutions. From an array of checking and deposit accounts, cash management services, to small business, real estate, and ag lending, we're here for you. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Find out more at MidwestBank.com. Member FDIC.
Big box stores are tempting for buying equipment for your high schooler in sports or for yourself in your sports leisures. But buying new is awfully expensive. Why not go somewhere with new and used options? Play It Again Sports is quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And it's more than baseball, softball, and golf. They also have equipment for disc golf, fitness, hockey, and more. Plus, they're always buying products. Bring your gear you're done with and get trade money on the spot. Play it against sports at 48th and Vine. The Omaha Supernovas are back in action this Thursday, March 14th, versus the Atlanta Vibe at CHI Health Center in Omaha. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Derek Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 6 p.m. with first serve at 7. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal and Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernovas radio network. My dream was to work in commercial banking, but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I landed my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the Doan experience has been life-changing. Your child was embarrassed when you arrived at their basketball game. 75% of parents or guardians report current alcohol use. Drinking alcohol can cause harm to children and loved ones. By drinking less, your child will be excited to see you at their basketball game. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. NEBCO is hiring CDL drivers for Ready Mixed Concrete, Husker Concrete, and Beatrice Concrete. NEBCO offers great pay, medical and retirement benefits, paid time off, and we pay for CDL training. Apply today to earn an average total compensation of $50,000 to $60,000 your first year driving. From NEBCO's beginning in 1908, it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation. Start your career today. Visit nebcoinc.com. That's N-E-B-C-O-I-N-C.com. Now's the time to schedule your air conditioner service check with Bryant. Make sure it's ready to keep you cool and comfortable when you really need it. Call Bryant Air Conditioning and Heating, 467-1111. Life is all about balance. So how about a little sweet and a little heat to make your week? At Wings and Rings, we're introducing our all-new hot honey menu for the month of March. Try our one-of-a-kind house-made sauce on the brand-new hot honey chicken sandwich or our hot honey shrimp and slaw. And of course, you can get it on the traditional boneless or smoked wings that have made Wings and Rings your go-to neighborhood spot. But don't wait. Hot Honey is only here until April 1st. So stop by Wings and Rings at one of our two Lincoln locations today on O Street and on Village Lane. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM first. 93.7 The Ticket. There's nothing quite like the Mercado by certified Piedmontese beef. The Mercado offers unique ingredients you can't find anywhere else, open every day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The full-service butcher shop and retail store is wonderful for meat lovers with their exclusive certified Piedmontese beef and assorted sausages, plus other quality meats, including pork, chicken, and a wide range of the freshest seafood. Plus, every Friday from 11 to 2, the Mercado serves up the best lunch in town on their Friday feast menu. Stop in at the Mercado today at 84th and Havelock or visit their website at cpmercado.com to see current deals. Reading may be the most valuable skill your child will ever learn. And research proves that when children read outside the classroom, they do much better in school. I'm Jenny Benson, president of the Nebraska State Education Association. It's easy to picture yourself reading with a young child curled up in your lap, but don't forget about your older children. They also need encouragement to read. So set aside some time to read together and help your child achieve and succeed. Sponsored by the Nebraska State Education Association, aired by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association in this station. Early break with Sip and Jake. Tomonaga was hot for the Huskers. He had 30 points in the ball game. They are, I'm just you, they are a lot for the tournament. They are Ooh. in. They are a lot. Write it down. Nothing could take away Nebraska. Where do you have them at? Well, I, I'm curious if Philatology and Jake are on the same page. I'd say eight to nine seed right now. I don't I think it's a ten. I say an eight. Okay. I say an eight the same seed page. right They're now. Eight to nine That's seed. That's right. I see it as an eight. Early break with Sip and Jake from six to eight every weekday morning on 93.7 The Ticket. This is On the Block with Strick and Austin. 
Nebraska Basketball Hall of Famer and nine-year NBA vet, Eric Strickland. Strickland for three! And you're going to go out of here as the Big Eight tournament champion. Middle school basketball coaching legend and Duke basketball shooting coach in his mind, Austin Orman. Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America, on air and online at theticketfm.com. Presented by Nipco. This is On the Block with Stricken Austin. Welcome back to On the Block. East Strick here and Austin Orman. Yes, yes, and more yeses. We are back. We thank you guys for tuning in here every, every day, five days a week, Monday through Friday. Two to four is where you can find us, all streaming platforms. Jump into the conversation. We've got something that we're starting, Austin, on Wednesday, tomorrow. Tell us about it. I think we're just going to call it three on three. Three on three. Three o'clock, three topics. They can be sports related. They can be outside of the realm of sports. But uh, this will be big as we get into the summer. Now we've got baseball. But there's an incredible story I want to talk about tomorrow out of curling. It's hard to find time to dedicate a whole segment to this stuff. Probably couldn't take it that far. This is why this is important. Exactly. Three topics, 3 p.m. And we want your help. What's on your your mind? What you got? Hit us up. Yeah, we want to be able to to do so. You can hit us at 402-464-5685 on the text line. You can also email us. I'm going to let Austin give his. Mine is Eric Strickland at theticketfm.com. That's where you can also email as well as Austin's first initial last name at live.com. There you go for that, as well as here on the streaming platforms, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook. Well, it's X, Twitter, X, Facebook, and Twitch. You can also get us there and get in your topics so that we can possibly assess them and maybe discuss them and shout you out right here on 937 The Ticket. But it's the three o'clock hour. We're going to jump into a topic now. We're going to talk a little bit of NFL football. Free agency is hot and heavy Mm. right now. It is off the chain, off the rocker. Some teams got active. Some teams got quiet, haven't moved yet. Doesn't mean that they're not going to move. They just haven't moved yet. But we're going to talk right now about the quarterback position. A lot of movement at the quarterback position. Mm -hmm. Some like Jameis Winston, who probably could have still been with the Saints. But because of uh, the changes in the tush put well, no in the uh, uh safety. What what do they call it in the NFL now? The safety where you where you you at the last second you just put the kneel. Oh yeah, the kneel down. The kneel down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He changed victory the formation. kneel down victory yeah. formation. He changed the victory formation <laughs> <laughs> and basically made it a touchdown <laughs> for yeah. the team. And they got behind and all the team and the players were like, Yeah, we wanted to get this man up. Uh, but anyway, a lot of teams now are gonna be apprehensive when you get into victory <laughs> formation is whether or not that's gonna happen. But Jameis Winston's on the move. Another one, we did not see this quick downfall of, for example, Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson will be moving on as well. But let's get into the recap right now. What's your, what, what's, when you look at the quarterback position, which one do you think is the hot and heavy move? And which one do you think is, is just the, the low key dumb move? Um, you know, the, 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 the two biggest moves to me yeah. are Kirk Cousins and Russell Wilson. I don't think there are other options for, for that conversation. We'll start with Russ because Riley W. on the text line says, talk about the Steelers. How about this? We're on our P's and Q's now. Russell Wilson to the Steelers fascinates me. One-year deal. One-year vet minimum. Yeah. Vet, vet minimum. minimum. He's essentially playing on Denver's money for Pittsburgh. So if you can get Russell Wilson for $1.2 million, yeah, he's going to be better than Mason Rudolph. He's going to be better than Kenny Pickett. I, I like that aspect of it for the Steelers. Mike Tomlin hasn't ever truly developed a quarterback. So he gets a guy that's been around the league. The The issues are twofold. Number one, Arthur Smith coming in as offensive coordinator, loves the middle of the field. Russ isn't that big. Not a guy that likes to target the middle of the field. There's a lot of traffic. How do they, how do they work that out? The other aspect of it is the locker room. When you think of Pittsburgh, at least for me, Strick, I think about culture. I think of Mike Tomlin being a, a player's coach, yes, but having a grasp of that locker room. Antonio Brown was kind of the outlier. Maybe we're seeing some more issues pop up with the young wide receivers. You know, Pickens not blocking, Deontay Johnson kind of up and down. Is Russell Wilson the right leader for that receiving core? He's cheap enough that they can address other issues on offense, but Pittsburgh needed an upgrade, even though Russell Wilson hasn't you know, been Russell Wilson dangerous like we think of. He's still been better than than what they've had recently. 
And then Atlanta, Stricky. You want to have this conversation? We'll dive Let into me it. real quick what you got? touch on a piece of you uh, of your conversation about Pittsburgh. Um, you're absolutely right. I mean, when you look at his numbers, what I think 26 to 9 or something like yeah. that, roughly in that range, that's astronomically better than the the uh Kenny Pickett situation. I think what nine to six or something like that. It's, it, it's it's absolutely crazy. So, but but one of the things there, Russell West uh, ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, 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 that's <laughs> Other us. Tra- travel Russ. jet lag. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't mind me on that one. But Russell Wilson, I think he thrives in certain systems. Mm-hmm. Sure. I just don't know if the Denver system, you know, worked with him. Because we can see it. He thrived well in Seattle. I think possibly getting in a system like a Pittsburgh and with, you know, a solid defense and, you know, just being able maybe to have a good running game Mm -hmm. again could possibly just hopefully revive and revamp him. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think you're onto something there. Russell Wilson has been sacked 100 times in the last two years. He can't afford to take a beating. He's not the, the purest pocket passer like he used to be anymore. He needs that support. He absolutely does. There's no reason he can't. He's not a game manager. He's still better than that but he's not going to take over and dominate games consistently like he once did. So do they have the weapons? Because you can't really say it's a weapons issue because they had weapons in in Denver, no question. So, I mean, Cortland Sutton was good. Jerry Judy probably wasn't living up to the hype what he could have or should have been. Run game didn't develop with their their backfield there. Not a lot on the tight ends. Offensive line was up and down. And I I don't know how much, once they, they saw a year of Russ in Denver, I think they were done with him after year one. Yeah, and I don't like know how much him. ownership wanted to support him or put him in situations to succeed, which then became Sean Payton's job to be the bad guy, to to not necessarily prioritize what worked best for his quarterback and try to feature other guys on the roster, mm-hmm. even if it came at Russell Wilson's detriment. And not like not like he was terrible. Um, you know, across his two years in Denver, completed 63% of his passes, just shy of 6,600 yards. 42 touchdowns, 19 interceptions, but compare that to Seattle where you look, you know, yeah, he played there longer, but his interception rate was lower. His touchdown rate was higher, completed more of his passes, averaged more yards per game. Whether or not he should have been the star for Seattle is still up for debate and always will be, but it seems like later on in Denver, they actively chose not to feature what he did well in some ways. And where where were you wanted to go next before we got to the Kirk Cousins? Situation? Oh, that's where we're going. In Stringy. Atlanta, Stringy. Kirk Cousins. Talk through this. My gosh. <laughs> the, the, the question to the Sutter Hammond text line right now, you guys that are listening, I, I really want to hear from you. And I know there's some of you that are Vikings fans that love Kirk Cousins and thought the most of them. And I, I I thought, you know, some of you just like Kirk Cousins. Period. I I, I like he's got a big arm. Mm-hmm. He's had big numbers throughout his career. But at the same time, here's the question to me, uh, from me to you. Is Kirk Cousins the biggest thief in the NFL right now? He's no Chandler Parsons. Chandler Parsons was definitely one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chandler Parsons. Uh, listen, Austin Crozier <laughs> was a big thief. Um, we can go down the NBA thief. Take your milk, take there, your cookies. Hey, hey, there was a lot of lot of thievery going on. Den of thieves uh, <laughs> going on out there. But is Kirk Cousins a part of the th- den of thieves? I'm going to say no because he's too good to be a thief. Mm. Kirk is a top half quarterback. In the now. In the now. Okay. Getting paid like a top 10 quarterback. I don't think Kirk Not Cousins is a top off, 10 quarterback. He's got the numbers to back it up. He's had weapons his entire career in Minnesota. Was okay in Washington. Definitely got better when he got to Minnesota. Now's the real test. Is he a franchise type of quarterback? I don't think so. But it doesn't mean he's not good. He puts up numbers. He generally makes good decisions. Four years. years, And not just that. Four years coming off an Achilles injury. Mm. For a guy that's going to be 40 by the time his contract runs out. Right. So would you get... so So stay there. Joe, uh, um, uh, Kirk Cousins, mm-hmm. Achilles injury, mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers, Achilles, Achilles injury. injury. Mm-hmm. Would you give the bag like that to Aaron Rodgers? <sighs> at, the, at, at the same situation, would you do it? 
that's tough because I feel like Aaron Rodgers deserves more of the bag than than Kirk Cousins because of what he's done in his history, right? The the MVPs, the Super Bowl. But I feel like Kirk is the safer investment. Mm. Oh, I, do, I, I feel like Kirk is safer. I, okay. I don't know if he has necessarily the upside, but I feel like Kirk has been playing the same style, pocket-based. He's been pretty durable throughout his career, whereas Rodgers, I think, is is molding his game. Again, where he's had the ability to play in the pocket, but his wizardry and his magic comes on the run. It comes out of system. It comes with a big arm. Yeah, Kirk Cousins has a big arm, not as big as Aaron Rodgers, though. So I feel like you definitely know more of what you're getting with Kirk Cousins. And there are fewer questions about the intangibles in the locker room, Mm -hmm. right? Are you willing to bet on Aaron Rodgers' talent? Or do you want your, your steady solid kind of no frills despite the the you saw his gold grill right <laughs> that he got over the off season like he's leaning into the meme and that's funny and here's the thing i laugh at it but the fact that he did that trick tells me he's a good locker room guy that he's yeah. self-aware yeah. He, he doesn't take himself too seriously <laughs> i feel safer giving this money to kirk cousins than i do having seen the jets give their money to aaron Rodgers. all right well let's let's move on let's talk about your boy my boy your boy my boy, uh, Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew. How about him? How about him, Stricky? Yeah, I want to. I, I want to understand the Garden Minshew uh, movement, and is it just kind of like a plug and play, a, a filler type of situation, or you know, are there, or, or, or maybe a test market case study? What, what, what do you I see? I can see it. Gardner Minshew getting well. I think two years, fifteen million guaranteed. Could play his way up to two years, twenty-five million. Good for that young man. Good for him. You think about Minshew Mania starting back in Jacksonville, going to Philadelphia. He was with Shane Steichen. Then, of course, he has he's with Indianapolis last year. Hmm. Gardner Minshew is the 30th best quarterback in the NFL. 35th mm-hmm. best. Somewhere in that range. He's a great backup. He can spot start for you. I think he's very similar to a guy like Jacoby Brissett in a lot of ways. I don't think he has quite the explosive potential of even like a Ryan Fitzpatrick or, or Jameis Winston coming off the bench where you know those guys can light it up for, for four bills and four tutties. I, I don't think Gardner Minshew can do that. I I just don't. Yeah. So for Vegas then, is he a bridge guy? Is he... Because your- that situation doesn't change for them unless they change their quarterback situation. It that, doesn't right. get any better. No, that's how they have to improve, and they're and they're not going to get trade uh, up exactly because you're going to get maybe where you're sitting right now, the fifth best quarterback out mm-hmm. of this this heavy stack draft, right? Which yeah. is why I think Atlanta made the move to go with Kirk Cousins. Didn't want to have to trade yeah. up to spend draft capital to do that. They they waited and drafted Desmond Ritter. Hasn't worked out. So for the Raiders, I could see them being a team that that gets aggressive in the draft that wants to trade up. But then why are you paying Gardner Minshew like fringe starter money? He's a premier backup. I, I could see paying him five mil, six mil a year, but seven and a half million, 15 million guaranteed could play his way up to 25. He's good enough that I'm worried he gets a little expensive with two or three good games. They lock in the guarantees and they, they're never seriously a threat in the AFC West. He's competing with Aiden O'Connell right now. who got some starts last year. It just feels like a little bit too much for Gardner Minshew from a team perspective. For him, obviously, congratulations. That's awesome. You did it. You know, his hard work. It's cool to see like great those stories work. rewarded. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> give that man a nice a steak dinner a week for life. You can afford it, Gardner Minshew. Not just like a, hey, here's a coupon once a week for a year. <laughs> steak dinner for life for Gardner Minshew's agent. Don't love it for Vegas. Can understand why they did it. Fascinated to see if there's more in store. Let's move on down. Uh, to me, this seems just like a, it was a high risk, got a good reward out of it. Baker Mayfield signs a three-year deal with the Tampa Bay Bucks. Mm-hmm. Um, is this just kind of like, you know what? We like him. We're comfortable with him. You know, we know he's not going to break us in the bank. He's not going to like kill us at the bank. And, you know, it just kind of allows us to kind of work out some of our, our, our salary cap situations without getting overly, uh, you know, overweight with fat. Yes, 
But doesn't it seem like a bit much? It does. Doesn't it? I, I, I couldn't have seen three years, but... And know. not that many million dollars. Yeah, yeah. Baker's been fine. He was better last year for the Bucs. I'm just trying to do a quick perusal of, of his stats here. So 2018 finishes second in Rookie of the Year. Throws for 3,700 yards, 27 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. 3,800 yards, 22 to 21. 3,600 yards, 26 to 8 in, in the shortened 2020 season. Well, I guess they played the full 16 games. 2021 with Cleveland, 3,000 yards, 17 and 13. Uh, between Carolina and Los Angeles in 2022, 10 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Last year was definitely the best year of Baker Mayfield's career um, in terms of completion percentage. 64% is a career best. Over 4,000 yards for the first time in his career. 28 touchdowns set a new career high. He did throw double-digit interceptions with it. Sacked 40 times as well. I Baker Mayfield is a starting quarterback in the NFL. I'm very confident, very sure in that. Is he a thirty million dollar per year guy, though? Is it just like, a reward? I mean, I, I don't mean, know. I, I I don't want to begrudge Baker Mayfield getting his money, and I want to be appreciative of teams taking care of one of their own. Now that the, the Bucks drafted Mayfield or anything, but they took him in. They took Good a flyer him. on him. Yeah, high risk. Absolutely, and yeah. he rewarded their reward him. Yeah. So I like seeing Tampa Bay, you know, step up to the plate and say. Hey, we still believe in you. You're like, all right, here's this contract. $30 million is a lot compared to some of the other quarterbacks. Again, would I rather have Baker for 30 or Kirk for 45? I don't know. I need to do some soul searching on that. I would have felt much more comfortable with Baker Mayfield in the 17 and a half mm. to like 22 and a half million dollar shout range. Shout out to his agent too. Oh, big shout out to his agent <laughs> as well. So good for Baker. Good look for the Bucks. I just worry this is going to come back and bite them. Right now, last year's the outlier for Baker. Well, the Cleveland Browns uh, didn't hold firm with Joe Flacco, the uh, never-ending age, <laughs> ageless, wonder. <laughs> ageless wonder, Joe Flacco. Uh, took him there, wasn't able to get him over the hump. Uh, their signal, call, signal caller, uh, which is one of the biggest bumble deals I'll ever – I don't know that it, if that ends up not working out in any form or fashion mm -hmm. for them, that might be the biggest boneheaded deal in the world. Sports history. Sports history. Yeah, ever. What they, that they did. But in the meantime, in between time, famous Jameis, mm. I love crabs. <laughs> pause. Um, Winston signs an, a one-year $8.7 million deal to go over. And is this kind of just like a backup plan? Probably. You know, where, where do you see? Yeah, if. If Deshaun Watson is healthy, he's still the plan for Cleveland, but their backup situation was not Horrendous. good. I mean, yeah, yeah. Joe Flacco burst onto it. the scene late. Yeah. I, it still feels kind of fluky. You know, I, I like it. I just don't see Jameis in that offense. Stefanski does a good job calling plays. It's a very balanced offense. And that's not the, the vibe I get from Jameis, right? I still think of big arm, take risks, thread the needle, Jameis Winston. Yeah. If he's grown up, he's matured in terms of the quarterback position. Cool. Good for Cleveland. You've got a guy that's a trusty backup that can, can put a game on his shoulders and win it for you. I just never would have imagined Jameis Winston in Cleveland. He seems like yeah. a Tampa Bay buck. He seems like Maybe Houston or something. Yeah. He belongs in the South. South. Yeah. I think he's going to be different and quirky enough to endear himself to Cleveland. And I hope for his sake it works out in a football sense because I don't see it necessarily. Yeah. Um, we're gonna move over one quick one. We'll we'll shout out to um because let's let's talk about some winners and losers at this point. I mean, obviously it's not done, it's not settled, but there's still probably some winners out there. And we talked about the quarterback position with Bryce Williams. <laughs> Caleb Williams, <laughs> Bryce Young, Bryce Young, Bryce Williams, Good. Nebraska Boy, point guard. Jet lag, jet lag <laughs> flavor is uh is 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 working in my mind right now but no i'm talking about bryce young mm -hmm. uh quarterback for the carolina panthers um short stature guy mm -hmm. similar to drew Brees. yep and one skinny. of the things one of the things that they did with drew Brees was they they locked and stocked the line mm -hmm. carolina panthers is kind of taking that same blueprint into account that same new orleans model mm -hmm. where they went out and they signed two 
big guards right there in the middle in mm-hmm. the interior to really keep that pocket solidified, mm-hmm. make sure it doesn't collapse on him very quickly to get in his face. So they end up signing uh, guards Robert Hunt for five years at $100 million and Damian Lewis for four years at $53 million. That, to me, is a win in the right direction, and you hope that it pans out because you surely paid out. And that's mm-hmm. a lot to pay out at that position uh, at the line. Especially for guards, where you think about right. tackle being the most important position on an offensive line, center not far behind, and then guards feel like they're a dime a dozen, but they're not. I don't say that to demean anyone. Um, but like we were talking about with Russell Wilson in the middle of the field, pressure up the middle hurts any quarterback. It's the toughest to deal with, but especially short quarterbacks. And especially if you're you're going to have Carolina's game plan where you're giving him, you know, big options over the middle, you're trying to take shots downfield. He needs time. He needs a lane to step up into. Bryce has a good arm, but I think he he's maybe more in the, the two attack of Iloa end where he has the touch compared to necessarily the the cannon. Mm. So he needs more of that lane to wind up a little bit, which is where Carolina solidifying its offensive line makes a lot of sense to me. He could still use another receiver to yeah. shore up the backfield. And that explains a lot about why, why Carolina's at, but strict as much as they're a winner for what they did on the offensive line, they're a loser for what they did on the defensive line. Mm. Trading Brian Burns for a second round pick and a fifth round pick when they had two first and a second on the table for the Rams before that's a lot of draft capital that they lost in some misguided effort to win last year. Terrible decision-making on the defensive line by the Panthers. Yeah, so they're both a winner and a loser. Um, I will say winner because this is this, this position, the running back position has been one of the positions that has, in the recent past, been loser. Mm-hmm. But now the running back position, they didn't do too bad in the free agency market. No. And in the running back situation, I think they're winners. I mean, Saquon Barkley, which... Goes in division, by the way, mm-hmm. to the Philadelphia Eagles at three years, 37 and, and uh, 0.75 million. And a lot of those teams in the NFC East lost probably some of their starting guys. Mm-hmm. They're starting running back Tony Pollard. He dips yep. off in division as Tennessee. well. Tennessee. Well, not in division, but he dips off to Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Um, but then Austin Eckler, Josh Jacobs goes to Green Bay. Eckler to the commanders interests me. It's interesting, right? Mm-hmm. So I would say they would be winners. Let's let's let's, shift let's, this let's over. take a Go break. Ahead. Okay. And then we'll come back and talk running cool. backs. Stricky's favorite fits, Stricky's least favorite fits, and the money. Why did the conversation change around running backs from last year to this year? All that and more next segment. This is Monster Jam. Big air, backflips, and all out racing. Coming to Pinnacle Bank Arena March 29th and 30th. The fun begins at the pit party Saturday at 10.30 a.m. where you can meet the drivers, get autographs, take pictures, and see the trucks up close. Pit pass must be accompanied by same-day 1 p.m. event ticket. Get your $20 pit party pass at MonsterJam.com today. Restrictions may apply. Rules and activities are subject to change. Visit website for event details. People always ask, what are Jake and Sip like when they're off the air? Well, the answer probably won't surprise you. Hey, Jake, your Honda's looking a little dirty. Says the guy whose license plate is barely visible. I mean, do you even care about that thing anymore? It gets a little uncomfortable. Now, that's when I jump in. Hey, whoa, Mark, did you get a new car? Nope, just took my car down to Nebraska Auto Detail. Joe and the staff made the outside and the inside look amazing. Maybe you guys need to go. Okay, wise guy. Settle down, Jake. Book your appointment today at NebraskaAutoDetail.com. The Omaha Supernovas are back in action this Thursday, March 14th, versus the Atlanta Vibe at CHI Health Center in Omaha. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Derek Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 6 p.m. with first serve at 7. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal and Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernovas radio network. Now's the time to schedule your air conditioner service check with Bryant. Make sure it's ready to keep you cool and comfortable when you really need it. Call Bryant Air Conditioning and Heating, 467-1111. There's nothing quite like the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese Beef. The Mercado offers unique ingredients you can't find anywhere else, open every day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The full-service butcher shop and retail store is wonderful for meat lovers with their exclusive Certified Piedmontese Beef and assorted sausages, plus other quality meats, including pork, chicken, and a wide range of the freshest seafood. 
Plus, every Friday from 11 to 2, the Mercado serves up the best lunch in town on their Friday feast menu. Stop in at the Mercado today at 84th and Havelock or visit their website at cpmercado.com to see current deals. Where will your path take you, traveler? To seek fortune in a new career? Or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation? Wherever you go, one distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Constructors is now hiring for all positions, with laborers starting at $23 and up based on experience. Constructors has immediate job openings for laborers, mechanics, bridge builders, operators, and drivers. Start your new career today. Constructors offers great pay, health, dental, and vision insurance, paid time off, paid holidays, and so much more. Join the crew today and be a part of Nebraska's oldest paving company dating back to 1908. For a complete list of openings and to apply online, visit ConstructorsLincoln.com. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. My dream was to work in commercial banking, but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I landed my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the Doan experience has been life-changing. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Now back to On the Block with Strick and Austin on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. on the block more omaha supernovas tickets to give away uh we talked about it in hour one Stricky. the two players named to uh all big 10 teams for nebraska men's basketball Kase tomanaga and rink mast first time since 1998 1999 that nebraska has had two players on one of the top three all conference teams so four tickets available to the person who can name either one of the two players that were named all big 12 for Nebraska back in 1998, 1999 texted in 402-464-5685, 1998-1999, all big 12 players for Nebraska men's basketball. Diving into the running back position here at Stricky, our, uh, our guy notorious BIB on the text line says Josh Jacobs as a Packer has him excited for next season. Interesting move by the Packers to get rid of Aaron Jones, who's 29 years old, been with the franchise for a long time, 
They get three years younger with Josh Jacobs. His his averages on a per his game basis yeah. aren't up to Aaron Jones's level, yeah. but they're still good. And he hasn't played in as good of an organization. I like this for Green Bay because I think Jacobs is you know getting younger at that position doesn't really ever hurt you. But again, we talked about Tampa Bay rewarding their own guy in Baker Mayfield. Green Bay wasn't willing to pay Aaron Jones what it was he wanted. So I think it's an unfortunate split for that team and that franchise. But he goes to Minnesota. Really interesting interdivision move there. I think it works out for both parties uh, in this specific situation. They both kind of got what they wanted. Mm -hmm. I think, like you said, Green Bay getting younger at the position. They got what they needed. Mm -hmm. um, to pair them up, that, that, that's a young team. That Green Bay team yeah. is in revamp mode. Now you've got a guy that's younger. You know he can be around mm -hmm. a little bit longer. Has hasn't really been banged up yet and had that you know yeah wear and tear mileage yeah, the wear and tear yeah. the mileage yeah all of that. So I, I don't mind that move in that specific situation. So I'm, I'm kind of excited that um, both of those teams kind of were able to secure and get what they wanted mm -hmm. and and feel what they needed. So. Um, Be before we get to more running backs, we yeah. have the two answers already. Text line was on top of it. Do you have any guesses for who those two players were in 98-99 for Husker men's basketball? All Big 12. 98-99. Uh, so that was after me. That was after Lou. One of them was the Big 12 player of the year. Vincent Hamilton. Vince was one. Yep. He was first team. And Other Cookie players, Belcher. Cookie Belcher. Yeah. There you go. 25-46. Uh, and 3195, you are the winners. Send us your name and your email address to 402 464 5685. We'll get those uh, Supernovas tickets to you. Running back, Stricky. Well, um, I think this is a huge one uh, because their running game is already absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I believe that they didn't want to continue to get their quarterback banged up and beat up. Mm -hmm. So you signed a bruiser. Just, just think about what those run, those run read options look like now with that bruising combination of Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry, who goes Sheesh. out to the Ravens for two years at 20 million. Look, that that's a scary, that's a scary proposition. Now, I, again, I don't know what happened to Lamar. He was just off target, not on point in the game, but that combination in the run game could even just prove to be uh, uh, that much greater for me. Stricky, which running back has the most rushing yards in the NFL since 2018? Derrick Henry. Which quarterback has the most rushing yards in the NFL since 2018? Lamar Jackson. They're on the same team now. One, Baltimore has been so good at running the ball for like the last seven, eight years. And now they have the, the leading rushers at their position on the same team. Scary. Here's the big question. Is that enough to keep the ball out of Patrick Mahomes' hands? It hasn't been. It hasn't been. That's, that's, the, that's, that's the problem. But again, it, it, to me, the Chiefs schemed so well against Lamar. Mm -hmm. Like their, their whole game plan was there's not going to be any running lanes. We're going to keep him in the pocket. And while he was in the pocket, not that he didn't have guys to throw to, those those windows were were very small. Sneed mm -hmm. and those, those guys, though, they listen, they they made small windows. Mm -hmm. He just wasn't able to make the the throws. He overthrew. Um forced into triple forced coverage. Into, yeah, yeah. So it just wasn't a good look. But for some reason, they they have his number. They scheme mm -hmm. very well against him. But then you add this type of running game. I, I it could change the scheme of things which could help but we'll see i mean it's still yet to be seen it is and that's that was the chief's weakness last year was defense against the run weren't very good at it you saw san francisco start to take advantage of it early uh they went away it from it. late baltimore yeah. we had that same conversation with them is you're the best rushing team in the league yeah just because you're down in the second quarter doesn't mean you abandon your game plan and that's what they did and every time they ran it austin Every time they ran it, it got something. Five, six yards pop. And they disappear. Yeah. Makes no sense. I'm willing to give Todd Munkin that as, hey, first year, you know, play caller in a new organization, just getting his sea legs back under him. 
But Strick, if, if he goes away from it this year in those key moments, like, yes, there are times you have to pass to win. You're down two scores with seven minutes to go. Not a whole lot of time left to run the ball. But down 10 points in the second quarter, run the ball. Down 10 points in the third quarter, run the ball. You have some playmakers still on defense. There's no reason for you to go away from that. I mean, think about think about the zone read that you can run. Are you going to try to catch Lamar Jackson? Or are you going to try to tackle Derrick Henry? Not going to work very well. Trust your dudes to be dudes. And Baltimore didn't do that. It cost him last year. Mm. Yeah, um, I would have to agree with you, my friend. It's unfortunate, but we're going to see. Uh, <laughs> free agency is not done yet. We don't know how things are going to pan out, where, you know, the direction and the flow of things and how that's all going to work out. My question then is this. Where does Eric Bieniemy go? He's at UCLA. He went to UCLA. Oh, yeah, he's see, at I've UCLA. Been I missed it. He's their offensive coordinator and associate ah. head coach. He's in the Big Ten, Stricky. Wow, that's going to be crazy. Colorado versus Nebraska. The creativity there. Um, what, are you saying Eric Bieniemy could be a starting running back in the NFL? Not, not these days. <laughs> not these days. He's, <laughs> a little bit there, too, <laughs> he's a little bit too hefty these days. Um, more in the running back conversation, your boy. Um, My boy? Zach Moss yeah. was the backup to uh, obviously one of the better running backs in the league, it, it Jonathan Taylor. He did a good job of filling in for Jonathan Taylor in his absence, uh, but he's going to be moving on to be with the Bengals mm -hmm. two years for uh, for $8 million. So uh, there, it seems like the Bengals have an idea of keeping a, a good one-two combination going and then, and then adding Zach Moss to that mix. Well, they, they traded Joe Mixon. Yeah. He's going to Houston. So... I don't like that as a Colts fan. Joe Mixon still has some miles left on his legs. I think he's 28 years old. Zach Moss was good. Has never really had the chance to be a starting running yeah. back aside from, like you mentioned, the, the injuries to Jonathan Taylor. Zach Moss is good. Also broke his own forearm at some point last year. Happy for him. Not sure he's a starter in the NFL, but, but definitely happy to see him get that chance. I mean, you're, you're, you're not killing yourself at the position. No. by Overpaying. You have, um, what, Chase Brown. Isn't he there? Is Chase Brown their second guy? I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. But I think Chase Brown, so you get a good compliment there of, of some power with some speed with him. So they, they, they don't have to spend a lot of, of money at that position. It, 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 am I right? And if I'm incorrect, you guys get me, because I think Chase Brown is still there um, as a second guy. Yes. He is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so you've got, You've got you've got guys at the position that are not going to break your bank, but they're they're you get a chance to really look at them as a combination. You get a like a one two mix, and at eight million, you don't you don't feel that it's a loss. No, not you know? not for that price. He's, tag. he's, he's solid. He's all yeah. right. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can you can run both of those guys. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, moving on, like you said, you talked about the Commanders picking up on, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, uh. Uh, he ain't San Diego no more. It's, uh, you know, it was a charger, but mm -hmm. he's a guy that was talking about, you know, wanting to get his money. He got two years, 11 million. Probably not what he thought he was going to get. He got his bag in, in Los Angeles. Yeah. He's fine. He's fine. He's good. So he's going to move on to the commanders. Uh, as you said, the Vikings signed Aaron Jones to a one year, $7 million uh, dollar deal. Um, Weird after they let Dalvin Cook go, but okay. He had to go get someone. Yeah, That's fine. Yeah. Um, another person that people were high on, uh, but he ends up moving over to the Giants in, in replacement of Saquon, and that's Devin Singletary. He goes for three years, $16 million there. Mm -hmm. um, no, to fill in, how do, you, how do you fill that gap for the loss of Derrick Henry with Tony Pollard? Like, I, tell, tell me how that's a gap filler for me. It's not. It, Tony <laughs> Pollard's fine. But again, I think we're seeing, we see this all the time in basketball, Strick, where you can have a really good sixth man or seventh man they get moved in the starting lineup, they get exposed. Still a good player, still better than I would ever be, yeah, yeah, all that. But if you find a role that works for you, you, I think you should always you know, strive to do more and to be more, but sometimes understand that part of the reason you're thriving is because of the role you're in. Tony Pollard tried to be RB1. He forced the Cowboys' hand into letting Zeke Elliott go because Zeke got expensive, Tony Pollard was cheaper, yeah, they paid him a little bit, but... Tony Pollard, I don't think, is a true RB1 in the NFL. He's a 1B. He can be a part of a, a you know platoon at running back. 
he can be a backup running back and, you know, injury replacement sort of guy. But if you're the Titans and you're looking for a foundational piece in the run game to help Will Levis grow to, to cover up for your lack of wide receiver talent, really, at this point, you got to go get better than Tony Pollard. Why, why weren't you a player for Joe Mixon? Mm-hmm. Why, why didn't you go make a move for him? You let someone else in your division go get him. Still cheaper than Derrick Henry. I don't love that for Tennessee. Well, I do as a Colts fan, but as a Titans fan, I wouldn't be happy. Well, to put a bow on this discussion at the running back position, let's finish it off uh, with Saquon Barkley. Mm. Um, what does Saquon Barkley... You know, we we know that Kellen Moore likes to 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 launch it in the air. You have AJ Brown there. You have great receivers there. Devontae Smith, Dante Smith, Dallas Goddard. You know what I mean? You, you obviously, yeah, you want to put the ball in those guys' hands. But now the addition of Saquon and the versatility that Saquon being mm-hmm. with now his he, he's become more durable mm-hmm. out of the backfield. You add that with Jalen Hurts' crazy abilities. Mm-hmm. What does this do for the Eagles in the NFC East? Sure doesn't hurt anything. You had a good player like that. You know, Giants dropped the ball here. Yeah. They really dropped the ball. You committed to Daniel Jones over Saquon Barkley. And now he's with one of your division rivals. Not a good look. Not a good move. It didn't seem like at the time. Definitely not in retrospect. Here's the question I'll ask you. I don't know if Jay asked it on Inside the Huddle or not, but why, if you're Saquon Barkley, do you go to Philadelphia now when everyone else is leaving? Jason Kelsey, franchise stalwart, retires, he's out the door. Fletcher Cox, been there for a long time, retires, out the door. Feels like Philly is an aging group that's getting closer to the end of the line than the start. A.J. Brown, I mean, with the drama with him in that Mm -hmm. position as well, does Saquon Barkley view this as a second chance to be the face of the franchise? Is he going to be the, the savior riding in, you know, to save the day? Or is he trying to, you know, scan his ticket on the the ramp to the Titanic after it just hit the iceberg? <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like right now, Stricky. The ship is the ship is on the way down, and you're trying to get Still on board. Still trying to get on. Yeah. To listen to the music as it is is it's on the way to yeah. its, its demise. Um, yeah, that's that is kind of wild. Um, but I think I think to Saquon at this point, it it seems to be potential opportunity to hit the mm-hmm. lottery. With the success that the team has had in the recent past, you feel pretty good about some of the uh, the weapons. You don't feel that you're going to be overloaded like probably you were at New New, New York, <laughs> right? Right. So you you kind of look at it from that standpoint. And then you're going to get a you know a little bit of money. You, nice made, you made your big money, but mm-hmm. you're going to get a little bit of money, and you kind of want to stick it to them. Sure. So maybe you kind of looking at some other outside influences to kind of get over there and you know, want to stick it to the Giants a little bit and how much better than to take a train ride down to to Philly and get in there and stick it to them, you know? So I don't know. Maybe that's it. Makes sense to me. Wow. Well, there it is. That's going to put a bow on it. Thank you guys for some of your comments as well on the Sardar Heyman text line, um, as well as the winners for the tickets to the Supernovas that are coming up on Thursday. But we're going to get back with a crossover. It's so nice out. DP may join. Jay may join. We'll Jay's see. on the road. We'll have DP. Hopefully. We'll get DP in the building. And uh, we'll be right back right here. 93.7 The Ticket. Ticketfm.com. Big box stores are tempting for buying equipment for your high schooler in sports or for yourself in your sports leisures. But buying new is awfully expensive. Why not go somewhere with new and used options? Play It Against Sports is quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And it's more than baseball, softball, and golf. They also have equipment for disc golf, fitness, hockey, and more. Plus, they're always buying products. Bring your gear you're done with and get trade money on the spot. Play it against sports at 48th and Vine. Constructors is now hiring for all positions with laborers starting at $23 and up based on experience. Constructors has immediate job openings for laborers, mechanics, bridge builders, operators, and drivers. Start your new career today. Constructors offers great pay, health, dental, and vision insurance, paid time off, paid holidays, and so much more. Join the crew today and be a part of Nebraska's oldest paving company dating back to 1908. 
For a complete list of openings and to apply online, visit ConstructorsLincoln.com. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Blecker and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Blecker and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador. Online at prg-ne.com. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. You're like the forecast for today. We'll see partly sunny skies and more mild weather. It's an afternoon high around 69. Tonight, mostly clear skies with a low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see partly sunny skies to start. Then it the showers, even some thunderstorms possible in the afternoon. The high around 72. I'm meteorologist Kyle Hutton for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. There's nothing quite like the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese Beef. The Mercado offers unique ingredients you can't find anywhere else, open every day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The full-service butcher shop and retail store is wonderful for meat lovers with their exclusive Certified Piedmontese Beef and assorted sausages, plus other quality meats, including pork, chicken, and a wide range of the freshest seafood. Plus, every Friday from 11 to 2, the Mercado serves up the best lunch in town on their Friday feast menu. Stop in at the Mercado today at 84th and Havelock or visit their website at cpmercado.com to see current deals. Your child was embarrassed when you arrived at their basketball game. 75% of parents or guardians report current alcohol use. Drinking alcohol can cause harm to children and loved ones. By drinking less, your child will be excited to see you at their basketball game. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. Old School with DP and J. Do you think it's too early to talk about Patrick Mahomes as the greatest of all time? You know, to be honest with you, I think he might be on ahead of the pace. It was definitely on on pace, maybe ahead of the pace. I think right now everything that he does is going to get over overblown, and I think people <laughs> so quickly forgot the 20 year run of the Patriots, not five six years, 20 year run of Tom Brady and the Patriots. On uh, 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. Now back to on the block with Strick and Austin. On uh, 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. Back one final time during on the block Austin Norman and Eric Strickland with you. Joined by boss man DP up in here. What's up DP? What's good? Oh, the weather's good, the sight lines are good, life is good. Hmm. What more can we ask? Everything, everything is everything. That's what that's what uh, 
Lauren Hill told us everything <laughs> is everything, and uh, I'm I'm with that. Uh, we uh, we're just going through the running back market in NFL free agency. We know you're you're partial to running backs uh -huh. in your way. Uh, commanders get Austin Eckler, but I'm gonna take you further, uh, slightly further east. Okay. Baltimore, okay. the Ravens. Yep. We know about Lamar Jackson. Yep. They sign Derrick Henry. Strick and I were going back and forth on this question. We want your opinion. Lamar Jackson, Derrick Henry, that rushing attack. Is it good enough to keep the ball out of Patrick Mahomes' hands and get Baltimore over the hump? Yeah, 100%. Easily. Like, you you did the thing that answered a lot of questions. You know you can, you can throw the ball. You know that over time you can defend in certain spaces and uh, make Mahomes uncomfortable, but to put pressure on Mahomes to put points on the board at a certain rapidity changes the way they play, the way they call plays. And if if the mission is to beat the, the, the Chiefs, the mission should lead in, I need to dictate the physicality of the game. The pace. I, I, no, no, the physicality part. Well, I think that plays into pace. Right. I, here's my thing. If... But well, the pace could be if Derrick Henry loads it five plays and then Lamar pulls it and goes 60, mm. It, mm. It, it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. Or if you play fake, you pull a safety up, Lamar goes deep, and they score. The physicality changes the way the Chiefs then have to prepare for the game, scout the game, and then recover from the game. So, yeah, I like the idea that Derrick Henry changes everything in the best way for the Ravens as possible. Last year, the conversation was running backs are undervalued. They're not getting their money. They're not getting their contracts. Day one, pretty much every running back out there has a deal. Why the change? Do you sprint with a cheetah? <laughs> like, I get eaten by a cheetah. Like, like, no, that's what happens. <laughs> So if you're gonna if you're gonna fight the fight, if you're gonna fight with sharks, be an orca. Don't don't try to be a guppy. Don't try to be a shark with them. You can't shark the way sharks work. Like you can't out Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes. You can't beat up the rest wait, wait, of the Chiefs. Wait, you can just no, no, beat up Paul, the rest of the Chiefs. Bring that Paul. back. Come back to that. That <laughs> was good. Hit, hit bring that. I need a rewind on that. That was good. No, it's if, if I'm gonna if if I'm gonna if I'm going to play against Strick, I can't let Strick be Strick in full. I need to do something against Strick that changes the way Strick prepares for playing against me. And if Strick's game is to be vertical, then I need to make it horizontal and then be foundational in it. Uh -huh. And if I take Strick out of at least his supreme elite level of comfort, I have a better shot. And everybody in the AFC, oh, we're going to finesse the Chiefs. No, you're not. You're not going to out-thrill or Michael Jackson. Stop it. Stricky talked about, <laughs> Stricky talked about finessing the Chiefs. That's how they won it. They finessed well, the Super Bowl. Well, I mean, this is what it is. The, the Niners missed, missed the layup, which was change the clock by changing the presence each play. In a muscle match, the Niners had an advantage. In a finesse match, they didn't. Mm -hmm. And everybody, the Bills built a team that is finesse. Your best, your most important player, not your best player, but your most important player is Diggs. Because Diggs can do the thing, which is put points on the board. You still haven't figured out how to run the ball 35 times against the Chiefs in a meaningful game. Mm -hmm. Right. Baltimore and, are the same thing. Right. You had an opportunity. So it, tell me you have a plan for changing your location and elevation. Okay, I'm getting a grown man. Mm -hmm. And let's be clear. He's the dude. If we're talking running backs, I don't care where he is in his apex. His name's not Prince Henry. It's not Duke Henry. No, that's the one. King Henry. That's the one. And to le have him lean on Chris Jones. Hey, hey, Chris. Go on and get up field if you want to. <laughs> Go ahead and get up field. Do you, do you like Derrick Henry against the Chiefs running uh, linebackers, two interior linebackers? Do you like that matchup? 
Yeah. Like against oh, most yeah. right, right, linebackers. Right? Because right? now they oh, gotta good. bring now they gotta bring a gang. They gotta bring that outside linebacker. Otherwise, Derrick Henry is up on the safety talking about what you what you had for lunch yesterday. <laughs> and then if the outside backers are right, fair, right, it's one right. less on Lamar. And if we pull the inside backers, now them outside backers got to cheat. I got to take mm-hmm. a step down to help my dude out. Mm-hmm. I can't let him be down there fighting the grizzly bear. I can't have it. Nope. Oh, and then Lam- that puts Lamar on the corner, on the edge. Oh, gosh. Out Woo. there in space. So even tight ends leak sneaking out. Well, I mean, you, all you, kinds you've of got one of the available. five best in Andrews. You got yeah. one of the five best. Listen, yeah. If your target is to beat the Chiefs, which should be mission, mission one A, then you just did the one thing. One B is now I need to go get a star receiver, a legitimate, yeah. bona fide possession receiver. Who's on your list? Oh, see, here's the beauty of the NFL. Possession receivers, that's like shopping for corn in Nebraska. <laughs> see, we can we can go get we know exactly where to go. Would like an Evans be like Yeah, a, like you got a like him. Well, you don't have to go. Evans is at the apex. That's the best farmer. Mm-hmm. That's going certified Piedmontese beef. That's not the real, <laughs> that's not the farmer dude in the middle of nowhere in Nebraska. That's certified Piedmontese. But you can get good beef. All over the state. <laughs> you can get corn Omaha everywhere. Steaks, everything. Yeah, over, yeah. So, and the Ravens now are in a draft position to add two. And with the great advantage of all of it is, I'm going to lean on you. Everybody. Pittsburgh, Cincy, Cleveland. Hey, man. Uh, I'm bringing... A hammer, an anvil. I'm You're bringing looking mighty nailish today. An- oh, you looking mighty nailish. Look at, look, check your head. <laughs> check your head. <laughs> so, in a in a time where I'd imagine that the NFL has, in its cycle, has recognized that the finesse game has taken over the league. And the way to fix that, and it takes me all the way back when the Niners and Cowboys are doing their thing, Joe Gibbs said, hey, Diesel, hey, Hoggies, let's lean on them for a while. Let's lean on folks for a while, see how they feel about it, and they adjust. I feel like that might be an interesting project for us sometime, uh, this group, you and Jay, to go through. When there was a finesse era, was it always followed up by a power era? Is, 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 it, the it, is the Mahomes cyclical. of their era followed up by a running back? The era? NFL is cyclical in its form, in what wins and then how it's attacked immediately. And then, because people will then copy success, mm-hmm. right? Everybody will try to do what Mahomes did, mm-hmm. except you can't do what Mahomes <laughs> do it worse. Did. You can't mm-hmm. do it. Well, Houston, CJ Stroud down there, he in the lab. Mm-hmm. Like he fe- oh, well, I can do what some of what dude is doing. We we come from the same. Oh, okay, okay. You try to figure out mobile quarterbacks. Then it's pocket quarterbacks. Then it's option quarterbacks because we need for them to make it easier for them to make decisions. Mm-hmm. Oh, you need a pocket quarterback because Tom Brady came in and said, "Look, I can win this thing as long as I'm not hit." If I can just get the ball out of my hand and make the shortest throws in the history of the NFL for a, an 11-year duration, then teams go, okay, how do we defend that? How do we stop that? Because we mm-hmm. can't get to them. We can't hit them. Hit them, they'll throw a flag. They'll mm-hmm. change the rules if you hit him. <laughs> then, oh, Amendola, Welker, like there's a Edelman. whole right? There's, there's a whole thing. So then what does the league do? It evolves to fit that, mm-hmm. except – there were folks that are going, you know what? Eventually, he got to go. He got to go. And what I'm not going to do is have a pocket quarterback. What I'm going to get is a dude who creates issue for defenses that they cannot account for because most defenses in the NFL don't account for a quarterback. And Mahomes said, I'm not going to beat you by rushing for 100 yards. I'm going to beat you by rushing for four first downs mm-hmm. in critical moments of games. Now, mm-hmm. imagine how good – your offense is when your quarterback and your offensive coordinator knows that the game doesn't come down to the 100 yards rushing necessarily. 
There are times when it does. The timing circle, of the circle Lamar mm-hmm. Jackson. Uh, it happens. Uh, but in critical moments in right. deep play, that if my quarterback can get seven yards when he needs six, when he needs six mm-hmm. to reload this thing, a thing that Kirk Cousins used to know when he was in DC and what he knew when he first got to Minnesota. But then what happened? He became old man, Kirk, uh-huh. and wanted to be a No, don't do that, Kirk. Josh Allen out here trying to be that other dude. No, bruh. Josh, chill. Chill. Mm. 10 seconds for station ID. Right back. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth, 93.7 The Ticket. You happy for Kirk? I am. I am. I'm happy for anybody getting there. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not that that sort of hater where um, you're getting yours. So even you know the Nats, you know, you spend your money. Okay, somebody, somebody got paid. Somebody's family's going. Joey Gallo's well. family, right? Joey Gallo's family's got got paid. I'm not mad at Joey Gallo's family. Uh, I'm mad at him as a baseball player. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that sort of deal. Kirk, for all base things, is a good dude. Doesn't bother anybody. Had, lives in his own little vacuum, right? Mm-hmm. He, okay, I'm cool with it. He's about to go to Atlanta, and Atlanta is not Minneapolis. Atlanta really? is different. Hmm. Atlanta is different. And people, Strick, t- you played in both cities. Do pe- you agree? People, um, people talk to you differently in Atlanta, <laughs> and there's there's a different uh, level of media <laughs> in Atlanta, right? But you have an owner. That literally just said, I just need you. I don't need for you to come in and be Matt Ryan. I don't need for you to come and be Steve Barkowski. I don't need for you to come and be young Brett Favre. Mike Vick. I, I don't need none of that. What I need is a grown up in the room who will come to work and help me take the best player on my team, which is a generational talent tight end, and get him the ball as often and in good space. That's possible. That's what mm-hmm. I need. Mm-hmm. I, I got a decent running back. He's not all pro, but he's decent. I got three linemen that I trust. I, hey, Kurt, it ain't five, but I had, I got three. I'll get you one more. I promise you I'll get you one more. And then I'm going to get you a 1A receiver. And then when I do those three things, the building will be full. You're in a division that you can win. You can win the division and not be great. You don't have to be. You barely have to be good to win that like, division. What is it, Tampa? Yeah, yeah you Carolina, are. Carolina, New I Orleans. I mean, yeah. you, you out there. Listen, man. Kurt's yeah. the best. Hey, he's the best quarterback in the division by a lot. Mm-hmm. By a lot. And you play in a building that is a great building, great facilities. Uh, when the town is doing well, oh, my goodness, Kurt. You can be able to get all this, all the toys that you want. Yeah. So, hey man, go do your thing, Kirk. Go do your thing. I, I, I was Is in he DC. Stealing? No, no. Listen, you can't steal. <laughs> you can't steal when when somebody gave you the ATM code. <laughs> Strick, what did what did the first ring pop tell you? Don't 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 get them people your ATM code, right. Strick. They tell you that they're gonna ask you on. You know what? They're gonna ask you in your email. Hey, Strick. Uh, we need that that the ATM code, bro. Uh, and you're like, no, we no, we safe. Oh, that Nigerian man. prince really is hey, man. Somebody willingly <laughs> gave it. somebody willingly gave this guy the money at the value of importance to him. Bye. And if you're Atlanta, look, there are five quarterbacks, four, five teams in the league that should have offered Kirk everything, anything. Right, like there are five teams that the difference between you competing with the Niners and the Chiefs was your quarterback. San Francisco might be one of those. Look, if you if they had told me today that Kirk went to San Francisco, I'd be like, okay, mm-hmm. that, that make that that checks out. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. oh, okay, who did San Francisco play in the championship NFC championship game? D- D- no, no, it's NFC Championship. Oh, the championship. Yeah. Detroit, Detroit. 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 You really telling me that you would take golf over Kirk? 
You re- what? If you Dak, if you if you in Dallas, you think, if you're, you're in pondering. Dallas, if you're in Dallas, and you got to win in the playoffs, you really gonna keep Dak, or do you take the chance with Kirk? I feel like they have a very similar playoff record. But Kirk, you you gonna give me them dudes to throw to Ooh. in Dallas? Them dudes a- and a lean on running and a lean on running back. Listen. Dak chose you. I can't win there. Kirk made the miracle throw. Well, he didn't make it. He was, he was on the team. <laughs> Look, if you did your thing, you take your chance. You take your shot. I, 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 I will relate it to this, and Husker fans will get it. Nebraska, what was the one thing that Nebraska needed to go all in on for its football program? Quarterback. And you do everything in your power, use every resource to get the thing that puts your line coach at, at, at rest, your receivers coach at rest, your running backs coach at rest, your fan base at rest. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, the sales department is at rest. <laughs> the marketing <laughs> department is at rest. <laughs> the media folks are at rest because you did the you got the one position that can make people feel like they're at rest. That's who Kirk Cousins is. He's comfortable. That's Uncle Kirk now. That was Cousin Kirk. That was Bro Kirk. Yeah. Now he Uncle Kirk. Anybody mad? Like, if you're mad at Kirk Cousins, pick another person to be mad at. Like, it's Kirk. Like, Kirk, like, <laughs> yeah, Kirk yeah, ain't no bothering nobody. <laughs> that's, like, that's like being mad at Open Cunningham. <laughs> <laughs> And he says, Opie Cunningham, we, you can't be mad at, 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 at Opie Cousins. <laughs> you can't be mad at Opie Cousins. No, no you, can, you can't. What's coming up on Old School DP? I want to spend some time today talking about the good people of Lincoln, the nonprofits that are doing good things for folks. And I want you to shout out. Be prepared to shout out your favorite uh, nonprofit. And then I want to talk about, here's the question for you. What Husker athlete has had the best year this year what husker athlete has had has been the best in their field of play calendar year or athletic season athletic season from september to march we'll talk about that on old school there we go dp on old school i'll be with him stricky back in it today back at it tomorrow for strick i'm austin old school dp coming up next this is Monster Jam. Witness Big Air. Two wheel skills, backflips, and all out racing. Monster Jam, as big as it gets. Brought to you by the original Super Glue. Stop by your local participating Westlake Ace Hardware locations for your $10 savings coupon. Restrictions may apply. See store for details. Coming to Pinnacle Bank Arena March 29th and 30th. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fuhrer's Cheese Spread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fuhrer's Cheese Spread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. It's getting nicer outside, but it's still hit or miss in the spring on golf weather. Not at Double Eagle Golf. You're home for always 72-degree weather and no wind. Book a bay with some friends for a weekend or come by for golf and happy hour on a weekday. Spring leagues are underway, but stay tuned for info on indoor golf tournaments and book your bay for the Masters in April. That's all at Double Eagle Golf inside the Kinetic Sports Complex on West O Street. Online at DoubleEagle.Golf. Hello, everybody. It's Charlie Stone, and here with me is Andy Goodyear of Honda of Lincoln. Andy, I hear that new Honda manufacturing continues to go up, and you have new Hondas in stock now. That's correct, Charlie. We have more than 40 new Hondas in stock right now. It's great that a customer can come in and buy a new Honda and drive it home that day. New Honda inventory keeps getting better each month. Okay, then. How about used cars, Andy? We have more than 100 pre-owned vehicles to choose from right now, and a lot of fresh trade-ins are coming in daily. 
We have just 